West Ham fan TV, Dan Lawless here outside Stamford Bridge after Chelsea nil West Ham one. I'm here with Dom. Look at him, he's looking like a ninja over here, mate. Fucking Let's freezing. see that big grin on your face. <laughs> Fucking freezing. How are you feeling after that one, mate? Can't mate, believe it. Absolutely euphoric. I was, I was, I was crying with joy at full time because, you know, I hate, I hate these fuckers. Can't stand them. Um, and, you know, you come here, they're, 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 they are a good side, don't get me wrong, but, you know, yeah, you come yeah, here and you win for the first time in 17 years. It just means so much. It's a big win as well. What was you thinking before the game? Did you give us the chance? Was you no, thinking? no, no, mate, honestly. We, we went on the boat, <laughs> like, you know, and we just thought, you know what, we'd rather stay on the boat. But, you know, luckily we didn't come here and witness that. I think we deserved it as well. I thought most, most, go I mean, that's what, today, like, just shows why, why can't we do it every game? Because what we've lacked so much in this horrendous run is just fight, desire, battle, physicality and organisation. All of that was there today. All of it was there. You can't fault anyone. Do you think some of the difference might as well have been confidence in the keeper? Yeah, yeah, you're, that, you know, I know, I um, know. Who you knows? Maybe it would mate, listen. If we played Martin from the from the uh, start since Fab got injured, maybe this would have been. We might have picked up a few extra points, but he's good. listen. He's good backup. He's solid. He he made a bit of a meal of a few shots, which you know, someone yeah, you could easily catch. But no, he was solid. He was brave. He was prepared. He was organised. He, he commanded the defence so well, and the, the defence was so good today because they were like more confident, like you said, with, that they're going to have a better goalkeeper behind them. Um, I did, but we're just so checked with I, didn't we? I mean, no way. We just, I, I mean, listen, I would have snapped around for a nil-nil. Oh, that alone coming here and winning, I amazing. After the first half, actually, it was it was weird, was not it? Because I thought they they were the better side first half. They they out the, like they played us off the park, but they didn't really do anything. But no, but we had the better chance with that Antonio oh, yeah. shot, which kept a yeah, made I mean, a. There was the triple save, save from Martin. Yeah, I know. That's that's you know. He, he, I, I will be fair. He's, he's, he, I think he made a bit of a meal of it. Look, there's players over there. Look, good on them. That's Anderson. Anyway, um, but yeah, listen, we actually had the, the the closest chance. I thought with the Antonio header. Yeah. And then after the break, you know, I thought, you know, I get to half time, keep it nil nil. And when you do, and when you come to a big side like this away, and you get to nil nil half time, then you start to think, hang on a minute. They're not all there. Let's go out. You know, I thought the goal. I think our goal has come out of the blue. You know, Press all cutting on his right. Yeah. What a finish! What a finish! And look. And then I thought. And then, you know. And the, but then, but then you got the, 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 the two chances to make it two 0 and from the two corners, I'm thinking it's going to bite us on the arse. And then the VAR disallowed the second goal. And yeah. I, mean, I saw that. It's all pointing to like, oh no, this is going to fuck us. But you know, they didn't really trouble us, Dan, to be honest. I thought after that VAR decision, I thought this is going to lift them here. We're going to be on the back foot. And well, the introduction of Kante, you know, that we, we started losing the midfield battle. William was dangerous, but I thought, you know, we dealt with all the crosses. You know, that, what they were trying to do, it was so obvious. I thought we, 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 we were prepared for what was happening. Yeah, like, like towards the end, obviously it's nervy, and we were like, well, we look nervous to be fair as well, because you know, this is a big thing coming here and winning, and given the fact where we are, but nah, every one of them is superb. Where does this um, leave Pellegrini with you? I think he still needs to go for the um, benefit of the long, the long term for the club. Um, but listen, if he, if he can't get us fired up for other games like today, they're like, what's the... I, I, I don't know what to say, because, like, what, why can't he get he fired up for other games? Like, you know, because if we lose our next three, but... I do, you'd like, still, still have him out. Oh, mate, there's, we, we could easily get... You know, hopefully we can get another manager like Eddie Howe in or something. But, um... And I'd rather have Eddie Howe over, over Pellegrini, but... Listen, let's just forget the table, about that tonight and just yeah. fucking enjoy a fantastic win and a fantastic team performance. Yeah, that's it. Well, we, before this game, I think it was five points off of six. So now, I, 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 I've not been looking up. I've been looking down <laughs> because I, no, I have been looking down because that's what's worrying the yeah. fact we're slipping close to the bottom three. Well, we pulled away now. Let's just well, wolves on wolves just on. Need Wednesday, we just need to push on, get out of this predicament we found ourselves in, and just like you know, there's plenty of time left, but. Just gotta keep pushing. Just get away. This is this is this is a big confidence lift as well. 
especially coming in and beating oh. Chelsea. I mean, they've been good this season as well. Very good. I mean, they miss Abraham today big time, but, you know, I still didn't expect any... They've to still got the quality. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. the way we've been playing. Is there any changes you'd make from here? Don't change a winning team. Don't change a winning team. Ever. Do you think to maybe play El and Antonio together? Or? Uh, Antonio looked like he picked up another injury. Yeah. Oh, but he was he, he, he makes such a difference. I mean, you, you mentioned Martin, the goalkeeper, makes a difference. He makes so much difference as well. I mean, uh, obviously last week I, 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 I left early, so I didn't see the impact he made in front. But you know, you know what you're going to get out of Antonio. You're going to he's going to roll his sleeves. So you're going to get a lot of fight, passion, desire, which is what we, like I said, we've been lacking. And he was brilliant. Today. Already coming up, it makes you wonder that maybe you know we should look at another attacking player in the mould of Antonio. So he's got his injuries that he's got. Well, that's maybe the thing. Well, we, we need to because if he gets injured, which he happens on a regular basis, and then Haller gets injured, we're left with the jetty who's useless. So yeah, you you have to really, unless it all go unless we we don't we do go and fire Pellegrini, which will probably come out of the transfer budget now in the board. But anyway, listen. This is a fantastic feeling. This is like coming here today and winning. I can't stress enough how much this means to like to me and the guys we were with and everyone else, obviously. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, I can love it. That, Absolutely. Enjoy it, mate. Absolutely. I will. Absolutely.